Ah, uh, okay. Ramatek felt as captive as the thing the inhabitants of Araness were guarding. As a child, he found it truly difficult to understand why he should devote his whole life to becoming a jailer. He cared little that the prisoner, which they called the Entity, could bring about the end of the world. How could Ramatek want to protect a world that he had not even been able to know? All of these concerns were at the forefront of his mind while he was driven with the other children to the inner containment chambers. When the huge sealed doors opened, Ramatek beheld for the first time the appearance of the prisoner. It was a huge lump of meat that did not even remotely resemble a humanoid form. He had read that it was the remains of an ancient deity, the body of an unholy god who died trying to reach the world. Oh, is this to show me how stupid I was for fucking stopping here first? Okay. Fine. I'm stupid. Bang. I get it. Fine. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh my god, I found it! I just have to beat the shit out of it? No. That seal. The entrance won't be open much longer. We need to destroy the barrier quickly. Don't tell me I have to do that all over again. I will be very upset if I have to fight. If that seal comes back. It will, won't it? God damn! Have any fragments of mem Oh god damn okay Hopefully that means it's just gonna stay open for a doesn't appear to be wrong, hell yeah. Those look less than friendly. Okay. Well, they take that and walk the fuck out of here. Feel my ass. Four girl, girl, triangle four. Four girl, girl, triangle four. Four girl, girl, triangle four. Four girl, triangle four. Four girl, girl, triangle four. Four girl, girl, triangle four. 
makes me sound stupid when I say it too fast. God damn it! Come off it. Dude! Another strong impact shook the central structure of the cathedral. The attack was more powerful than the previous one, which meant it was just a matter of time until they would surpass Araness's mystical defenses. Somehow, these creatures had discovered the existence of the sanctuary and its prisoner. Those who lurk in the shadows had lost their leader not long ago, and they probably thought that the entity sealed in the cathedral would allow them to rise against the world for a second time. Ramatek had lived his whole life within these walls. Despite his childish reticence, he had come to love them as much as he loved all the people who were at his side. It was ironic that only now, when everything was in danger, he realized his true feelings. The priest was not a normal person, and was perfectly trained. Acting swiftly, he went to the chambers where the prisoner was locked, and began diverting part of the supernatural power of the seals to the external protections of the building. It was a risky move, but would allow Araness to resist the attack with minimal effort. Just an instant before the system was activated, a huge explosion destroyed the entire cathedral, causing the whole place to come down, crushing Ramatek and everything around him. Makes me wonder what, like, it's like, I keep only getting everything but one. I'm like, I need to find out how to get those last frames remaining. Oh, this one has two actually. Shit. We don't have it. Yeah, this is. I know. It's him again. It's too late for Ramatek. I have already destroyed it. You won't be able to reclaim it now. So you can talk after all. Who are you? Are you one of the messengers? You are the ones who call me that. But yes, I suppose that you could say that I am one of them. Are you the one behind all of this? The one who brought us to the tower? Maybe. Maybe you really don't know anything. Maybe you are just another pawn. But even then, it doesn't matter. You must be stopped. Your world won't be saved. You monster! Enough. We don't have time. This place won't hold itself much longer without Ramatek around. You... Leave her out of this. I'm sorry. I know that you want the cool guy spot on this drama. You even brought your own attire. Nice coat, by the way. But the role is already taken. Dark Messiah, I'm afraid that letting her out won't be possible. You really don't know who you are messing with, boy. Let's end this. Your story.
Oh, okay, fine. Be that way. Woohoo! This place. It can't hold itself together anymore. Could be you. You were saved by the bell, pal. And so, the story goes on for you. Just a little more. Girl, you should wonder if you really want to become an instrument of salvation. What? Oh man, that was that was intense. <laughs> that shit was not easy. The monster looks at the little girl. It knows that it's over for her. The child cries, shouts and tries to escape. But the monster is faster. The claws penetrate her flesh and she collapses with her body broken by pain. Everything will be over soon. But then something happens. A drop of the little girl's blood falls on the old chained book. The world becomes silent. And suddenly, they are not alone anymore. Hi again, Sleeping Beauty. How are you? Honestly, you don't look too well. I've been better. This messenger thing is really messing you up, you know. Not that I dislike seeing you screwed, but only if I'm the cause. Sweet as always. My power grows every time one of those... But I am still so weak. My lady, there's something I need to ask you. We just met a strange messenger who talked about me becoming an instrument of salvation. And Lady said something similar about herself. I was wondering if you had heard something like that before? In the past, we used that term to talk about people who performed an immeasurable sacrifice to end the war in the shadow. I myself have been called thus, having forfeited my body to stop the first evil. However, I doubt that this can be the same case. He must be talking about something we can't understand yet. If he is alive, maybe it would be wise to inquire. Alrighty then, well that's enough of this episode guys, see you then, bye bye.